Hello everybody and welcome to Shen Plays. This is your Universalist 3 Divine Wind Death and Taxes. We're playing as the Empire of Shia. And we have discovered new ways to rule, which allows a new idea. This is Government Tech 29. And I'm your host, Shenner. Discovered Pegaya Orda. That's nice. We've been building up our uh, manpower buildings. The armory, training fields, barracks, and regimental camps all along the border with Russia, and also down here along the border with Delhi, with the hopes of finishing them would give us enough manpower to build the level 4 fort, because it says manpower required at least 1.5. I have no idea what the fuck that means. But even here in Arunshal, where we have all four uh, manpower buildings, and our manpower is 1,165, Apparently that's not good enough for level 4 fort. I don't understand what the fuck the problem is here. Because we can build it up here in, in Utsang. We meet all the requirements here. But uh, there's only 209 manpower here. So I don't know what the hell the problem is. I don't know. We have efficient administration here. I don't know what the problem is. I have no idea what's holding us back from this. That, that vexes me. Anyway. It's new idea time. Oh man. It's fucking amazing. So we have our uh, our plus one army tradition. We have our plus one navy tradition. We have our plus three cultural tradition. And obviously we need all of these. I mean, fucking tradition is like the hardest thing we we can uh, strive for in, in Shia right now. But, but now we have unlocked these wonderful row of items. Production efficiency plus 20%. Every single tech investment plus 10%. Discipline plus 2%. Maintenance goes down by 20%. I think we're going to take this one because faster tech training is kind of the most important thing we have right now. But it's nice that we've unlocked this next row of options. You know, this one will be nice too when we can get a, a, a flat infamy reduction of 1.0 every year. That's that's pretty nice. And more diplomats, but I don't really care much about the diplomats to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and get our faster tech training. That is beautiful. Now that's half of our ideas. We can only take six more ideas towards the end of the game. But there you go. Faster tech training. Everything trains 10% faster. And we get free investment of plus 10 and everything. Ah, okay, I get it. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Still have a long way to go and everything, though. Our inflation hasn't gone away yet. Uh, but we are almost done with the infamy, so it's almost time to go back to war with Japan. Almost. Uh sort of bad news. We're currently at war with the Pope and France. Castile brought us into some stupid war, and then Castile peaced out. White peaced out. So we're stuck. We're still at war with these douchebags. Hey, we got cores on everything that was in uh, Khmer. So it's been 40 years since we annexed Khmer. Damn, that's been a long time. Oh well, no big deal. Let's keep colonizing Majertine. It's almost done. France actually landed an army of 12,000 guys here. And we destroyed them. We fucking slaughtered them. So I'm like, wow, how did we kill them so easily? They've got Atlantic 32. We've got Atlantic 30. They're Western units. We have Eastern units. But we still were able to beat them. I'm happy about that. And they don't. Want, they have. We've been looking for peace for a long, long time. And they're not interested. France will take an offer if we give them money. Just 25 gold, they'll take it. But I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> I don't see a point. Let's go ahead and throw another missionary in here. 5.9%. Well, it's better than 0%. And the Pope landed some units in Aki. Yeah, they're still there. 7,000 douche douchebags are still there. But we're just kind of ignoring them because it's no one cares. What was that? A doll made peace with Yemen. Oh, Adal surrendered its northern territories to Yemen. Look at that. Wow. Atlantic 14 versus Atlantic 27. Yeah, understandable. Understandable. We still have our western neighbor. And we have resisting western influences ending on two more years from now. The Pope annexed Ashanti. Okay, do you want peace now? Yes. Okay, so the war with the Pope is over. Hooray! Good. We're going to focus on... Uh, oh, we got a core in Okotsk. 
Cool. And we can focus on Japan now. But it's not time to go to war with them yet. I have to wait a little bit. Actually, uh, I mean, we can move our boats around freely now. Where's my transport navy? Did I leave them here? No. I have one in Taiwan because we had to kill some... Austria invaded Taiwan, so we had to kill Austria. They landed 1,000 troops. It was so scary. Where's my other navy? Donde estas navy? There you are. All right. Let's pick up you, and we'll pick up the army from Taiwan, and we'll head over to Japan. You go to back to Musashi. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, we upgraded our troops slightly. We now have Soldati Infantry, Southern Cossacks, and Leather Cannons. I think you saw the Southern Cossacks and the Leather Cannons, but we upgraded the infantry again as well. Uh, da -da. Let's see, this would be more trade income. Let's get the canal first. Canal's a bigger bonus, I think. All right, you're in the Korea Bay. Let's pick up that army. Let's pick up this army as well. I guess this time we'll take some provinces from Yamana, since no one else has enough provinces for us to take. <laughs> Actually, we could go for Tosa and Shikoku. And yeah, we could do that. In fact, that sounds like a fine idea. All right, let's get our military out there. Need a new admiral. There you go. You guys need to get on the damn boat. You guys are on the boat. Good. You guys get on the damn boat. Oh shit, we're running out of money. Whatever. Whatever. I mean, we're making a lot of money, but we're also spending a lot of money. There. Like on buildings, regimental camps are expensive. Amakusa Sea. Damn straight. Alright, you guys are ready to go. Excellent. You're good to go. Alright, there we go. We're good to go. Let's get war started. Just have to remember not to piece them out right away, or else we're going to get fucked. Everyone's going to join. Even Castile and Deccan are going to join, but we're not going to we're not going to bring them into the war. And you guys I don't know. There's no real whatever. Kill them. <laughs> we failed to improve relations with Aso. Oh, I'm so sad. Blockade Izu. I'll think about it. Actually, you know what? Let's go do that. Why not? It's got to be the easiest mission ever. Our fortress is under siege in Omi. We are attacking someone in Higo. We've engaged the enemy in Shinano. Man, we're just... We're everywhere. And we blockaded Izu. All right. Killed that army in Shinano. Let's move on to Omi. You guys can move on to Owari. Save Harima. I probably won't be doing that, but thanks for the mission anyway. Aki has fallen. Go straight for Kyoto. All right, we've landed on Tosa and Shikoku. They're actually coming to attack us, which is quite hilarious. Hopefully we'll just slaughter this army here. We're under attack. Okay, let's group up our armies. You guys get on the boat. Actually, just walk over. No, yeah, get on the... Probably faster get on the boat. 
Revolt and Doorknot. Okay. Not exactly the most threatening revolt ever. Okay, you've killed a bunch of them. That's nice. Let's kill some more. Always nice to kill more of them. Alright, now we're blockading them up there again. Good. Alright, that 17,000 of them are dead in Yamato. Excellent. Uh, I don't know. Let's all just go to Kyoto. We'll have a party there. We'll siege the capital super quickly. And then we'll take these two provinces. Hopefully. Yes, yes. You guys are running to Awa. We'll follow. And we have a revolt down here. Whatever. Oh, we destroyed that army in Awa. Excellent. Okay, let's split up. And you guys can... Well, I guess you might as well just help out. All right, everyone's ready to go in Kyoto. Siege it down. All right, Kyoto fell. Very nice. Let's go save Harima to complete that mission. We'll actually take you guys onto the boats. Now we're just going to take these two provinces here. Military support happened to us. Nice. Uh, yeah, I guess go get Bungo. Actually, you can just dock up to do that, huh? <laughs> dock up on their face. All right, Harima has been saved. Very good. Those guys are dead. Very good. I guess we can just raid these provinces and get it over with. We saved Harima. Yay. Blockade Tatomi. Where the fuck is Tatomi? There it is. Okay. Your wish is my command. Mana wants out of the war already. I don't think so. I'm going to take one of your provinces. We blockaded Tatomi. Nice. Save Tajima. Ugh. You're so demanding. Goodness. I'm going to get this province and then I'll think about it. Shikoku. Let's go ahead and siege that. Oh my god, it's a level 4 fort. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, you know what? I'm gonna land... Alright, I've got four armies there. I'm gonna land a fifth army on it and just try to siege it. And if we succeed, then we succeed. If we don't, then whatever. A level 4 fort. Oh my god. Alright, 56,000 guys. Let's go. Nice. Alright, let's go to Tosa. Finish this damn war. Siege it down. Level 3 for it. Should be easy compared to that level 4. Nice. Alright, let's get peace. Oh, that's right. We can't because <laughs> because we have too much infamy. 
Okay, well let's do the smart thing and split up our armies so we're not taking so much damn attrition. First and foremost, let's get our hurt armies onto the boats. And the other guys can split up Shikoku, Tosa. Actually, you guys can go to Bungo, yeah. Yes, kill those nationalists. How dare they dream of having a country of their own? What's wrong with them? And you guys shall go to Higo. You guys are really, really hurt. I guess we'll take you home. Oops. Uh, d d d take him to Heichi. And you guys can go to Taiwan. I don't care. Five natural scientists. Nice. Oh, I would love to take him, but I can't because we have to keep this trade tech douchebag if we want to westernize. I think. No, all we have to do is get our stability up. Really? So our ruler is good enough because he has administrative skills of seven. Ah. Wait, no, we don't. I'm confused. Oh, we have a treasurer. Yeah, so if we replaced him right now, then we would lose the ability to westernize our trade tech. Nope, we'll hold on to him. Sorry, Mr. Natural Scientist, but uh, we're going to stick to our our devices here. Alright, you're dead. You're actually going to get away again? Oh, it's because you don't have a general. Well, let's... Got to be having a nice maneuver. Here we go, maneuver three. Perfect. Now can we catch him? We're still not going to catch him, of course not. Alright, so we're just going to heal up. The war is pretty much over. We're at 100%. We could destroy these other armies if we really want to. I guess we will, but we're going to let our armies heal up first. Because, you know, 3,000 guys, 1,000 guys, they're pretty hurt right now. Ooh, we can build something cool. Still no level 4 fort? No. Manpower at least 1.5. I have 1,100 manpowers. I don't get it. Can't do it here either. I don't get it. Maybe if we reduce the stability cost a little bit? I don't know. I have no idea what's causing us to not be able to build the forts there. Kill them! Stupid nationalists. Prospering times. Kai Wang II has become renowned for our country's artistic achievements and blossoming economy. Artists, philosophers, and poets are flocking to Dali and the thriving economy has allowed extensive artistic funding. Several fine architectural buildings are being erected and beautiful gardens are built to demonstrate our country's wealth. Okay. Invest in a university. 500 bucks to get a university. Invest in a fine arts academy. Or investments are not an option at this stage. No, we'll take one of them. Uh, we'll take another fine arts academy because fine arts will give us free cultural tech. In fact, we've already had that happen once. Uh, we got 15 free cultural tech when our Fine Arts Academy here in Kachinsk spawned some beautiful piece of art. And we had the option to either sell it, which would give us 50 ducats and 5 culture cultural tradition, or just keep it, and then we get 15 cultural tradition. So we just kept it and got 15 cultural tradition. So Fine Arts Academies are really cool if you want cultural tradition. 
Oh, revolt on my face. Incompetent diplomacy. Gain infamy. Great. That's what I needed. It's not like we're waiting for that to drop at all. Oh well. At least war exhaustion should go down. Slowly. General has died. You know, we'll take one of these armies. We'll take this one. Oh, we don't have... They're not... There's no navy over there. Whoops. Regimental camp completed, but we still cannot build a level 4 fort on Russia's border. It vexes me. Wow, our manpower is only 260, even though we've built two buildings that should bring the manpower up to 500, and another building that should bring the manpower up to 1,000. But nope, manpower is only 260. Goodness. No bueno. Get on the damn boat. Where's my other generals? Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Where's this guy? Um, you can stay there. I'll take this one. You, sir, are getting on a boat. High five. And we're just going to dock right here in Harima. Just fuck up this guy's day. Ooh, we can build another building. Cool. Let's build... Wait, is this a colony? Is this a territory yet? Nope. Still a colony. Okay. Well, we can't really build anything up here. Let's build the uh, regimental camp over here. I still don't know what the problem is, but oh well. Alright, we have another army on a boat. Very good. In fact, why don't you just dock up on that guy's face? Actually, you go that way, you go that way. And we killed that guy. Poor guy. And we killed this guy, too. Poor guy. Let's kill all these motherfuckers. And we're killing lots of motherfuckers. It's a good day when you kill all of them. Okay, we've engaged Kyoto. We've engaged someone in Kyoto, I mean. And they're dead. Because we have guns and they have swords. Ha ha! Take that, sword people. I'm just gonna keep doing this. This is funny. They send little 1,000-man armies, which can eventually take control of a province, but we just keep landing 20,000 guys on their face. And they die instantly. I love it. And these guys are having a ball just slaughtering these armies. If only our infamy would drop down so we could get peace. Okay, 20,000 more guys. Uh, let's go this way and dock up in Musashi on top of that army. You guys are running to Echu. I think we'll let you land. Six, seven, and then we should be able to catch you. Yeah, we're going to catch him for sure. Just like this guy was caught. You poor motherfucker. You don't know what kind of shit you've got into, but you're in it. Up to your neck. Okay, so now we're going to take this army over here and this army over here. We're going to try to land on this army here. I'm not sure if we really need to do this, though. In fact, I probably won't. Maybe a better strategy would just be to box these guys in. Just stand next to them and look threatening. 
Yeah, we'll just stand next to him and look threatening instead. Because it's not like they can do anything to us. Yeah, they're going to take Tajima. Who cares? Yay, canal is finished. So we could attack him right now. Well, yeah, let's attack him. Why not? What's a war if you don't attack now and then? Hello, sir. Do you like guns in your face? Bam, 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 bam. Ow, that hurts a lot. Bam, bam, bam. We lost. <laughs> Oh, and he's gonna come. No, he's not. Oh, he's not gonna come kill us. Okay, good. He's running back to his capital, though, which is nice. We saved Tajima. Good. Blockade to Tomi. Maybe. I'll think about it. Wow, I can't believe we lost that battle. With two decent generals and 40,000 guys. We still lost that battle. That is sad. Whoa, we're gonna catch him. Let's not catch him there. Alright, apparently he's coming back. He's coming back. No, he went to Harima instead. Interesting. No, he is, he is attacking. What is he doing? I don't know. Let's get on the boat. All right, we're getting attacked. For some reason, he's attacking us. Maybe he thinks he can win. I don't know. Our morale is pretty low, but we have two good generals here. We're better than his general. We have more troops. Oh my god, he's hitting us for 4,000? What the shit? How is this possible? We won. I don't know how he was hitting us for 4,000. We lost all of our cavalry in that fight. All of it. Holy shit. And he's running away to Hokey. Wow, that hurt. That hurt a lot. That hurt in places I shouldn't mention on the internet. We're going to land in Hokey and see if we can't kill this motherfucker. No, we can't. Now he's running to Harima. So he's coming to attack again. What a mess. I'm wondering if I should just get the fuck out of here because we're taking so much attrition from losing these battles. Hmm. Now he's going to arrive before we can leave, so that's not going to work. Oh well. Okay. There we go. Now has he stopped? Now he's going to Tajima instead. He changed his path. Okay, well, we're going to take that as an opportunity to GTFO. You're going to Setsu. You're going to Yamano. And you can siege Tajima all you want, my friend. For some reason, you are able to slaughter my military. Whether attacking or defending, you can kick my, my military's ass. So, we bow to your superiority. Their land tech is the same as our land tech. And we're Eastern and they're fucking Asian, so that shouldn't happen, but whatever. You know what? Fuck them. I'm attacking. No, I'm, I'm sick of this bullshit. <laughs> Alright, kick his ass. 38,000 versus 16,000 or something. Kick his ass. Nice! Slaughtered his army. I guess his morale was finally dead. Okay, I feel better now. A 
Still can't get peace though, because our infamy is a little too high. Oh, oh, we can do another building. Nice. Yeah, do more stability buildings. Because that'll reduce the stability cost. Stability cost here is not that bad. 21, 28, 28. But down here it's really bad. 46. We've got to get those buildings built. I wish it would do a stability percentage uh, reduction. A stability cost percentage reduction rather than just like minus 2 or minus 4, you know. Oh, two colonists will arrive in Kamnuskoye. Sweet. A colonial company has decided to expand a colony into the adjacent province. Very nice. Free colony. Well, not free. We still have to pay for it, but still. Sort of free colony. And we got Aki back. Nice. And Majatine successfully colonized again. Hooray. Kill some of those motherfuckers. How's Majatine doing anyway? What are we up to? 907 people. So one more colonist. Or we can just let it naturally grow at this point. It's doing fine. Oh, one thing I did off camera. I totally forgot to mention it. Built a new center of trade here in Hangzhou. Just trying to split up uh, the Nanjing center of trade. If we can get Nanjing's center of trade below 600 value, we'll be able to do uh, get rid of it and then build a new one on the coast. And the reason I want to do that is because we'll get the extra colonist bonus if we build it on the coast. Anyway, more buildings, more buildings. Uh, let's do the stability buildings down here. 46.2 stability cost. Goodness. I guess we could piece out these lesser guys. They don't matter at all, do they? Uh, yeah. You failed to blockade Tatomi. Who cares? Save Musashi. Oh, I'm heading over there. Definitely complete that mission. Courthouse in Bhutan is done. Very nice. Lenape defected to Burgundy. We saved Musashi. Any wars going on over here? Yeah, Poland has invaded Wallachia. But other than that, not much going on. Oh, Poland's invading Croatia, too. Okay, that is pretty significant. <laughs> Poor Croatia. Blockade easy. Oh, come on. I just want to get my infamy down. I don't need a blockade anymore, do I? Actually, I think we're good. Let's get peace. I want these two. Damn it. All your money. All the money that you don't have. All of it. Alright. And yes, we're below our limit. Good. So we have most of this island, most of this island, and Hanshu will slowly fall to us as well. I have to take it. Two, two, two. So three more wars, and we'll be able to take everything except all the capitals. And then we can dissolve, disband the shogunate, and take them all individually, and yada, yada, yada. That sort of deal. Okay, you go home. You also go home. Uh, do I need to move these armies back? I already have an army in Taiwan. I have an army in Haiti. I guess these guys can stay where they are. It's not like they're in any danger over here. So let's take our transports. Uh, one to Taiwan and uh, one to Haiti. Sure, that works. We failed to blockade Izu. Build a university in Zuko. All right. Where is Zuko? Wait, what will that do for us anyway? Get a philosopher. That's it? 
Where's Zuko? I'm sure I'm looking right at it too. Oh my god. After a while, all these names just start looking the same to me. Zoko. Alright, university? Yeah, you have grain, so university is perfect for you. But we don't have any magistrates. And that costs $980. Wow. Uh oh, Deccan wants us to help. What's up, Deccan? You're at war with Russia? Really? Um. I don't want to be at war with Russia, man. Oh, Castile too now, huh? What's up, Castile? Who are you at war with? The Oirat Horde, Kazakh, and Crimea. Oh, great, the Oirat Horde. That's what I wanted. Well, we'll help the Castile one. I guess we'll help. Oh, great relations. Oh, my God. Uh, Nope. Sorry, Deccan. We're going to lose that alliance with you. Because you're stupid. I will keep giving you money, though. Well, that sucks. We lost an alliance with Deccan. I don't want to lose an alliance with Deccan. I was looking forward to being buddies. Oh, well. Let's invade the Oirat Horde. They have sticks and swords, and we have guns. They have level 1 forts, so this should be a pushover. We could just let Sukotai do all the work. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, another fort. Oh, that's right, we can't do forts. Damn it, I want to do my forts. Still don't know why we can't do forts down there. Regimental camp and brats completed. But we still can't do a fort there, damn it. Stupid fort restrictions. Alright, let's siege this shit. Level 1 fort. And it looks like he's not even funding his military very well. Yeah. How did Castile wind up at war with the Oirat Horde anyway? I guess we should just white piece them out. Or ask for dollars. Well, they have a little bit of money. Could tell them to get rid of their cores on my shit. I guess that's what we'll go for. We'll conquer them a little bit, get rid of their cores, and take some dollars. A rockin' has declared war on us? Really? We're... Wait, how is that even possible? We are not over our infamy limit. In fact, we're under it by 0.01. And we used to be under it by more than that. Hmm. Not sure what happened there. Really not sure what happened there. Well... Arakan, I know you have better land tech than I do, but I'm pretty sure I can kick your ass. Also, can we westernize our trade tech? When's this going to happen? Western influences goes away in October, so we're almost there. And I can't wait for our leader to die, so let's uh, make our leader a general. So our, our leader would die. Oh, he's actually really good. Nice. And, uh, just hope that this heir survives to become king. Wouldn't that be nice? Bosnia is independent. That's nice. 18%. Alright, we'll wait. Yeah, I don't think this was the wisest choice you've ever made in your life, Arakan. I really don't. Out of all the things you could have done... Oh, well, we can actually use our navy over here. Yay, we're going to use our navy to save a province. Out of all the things you could have done, you know, gone to war with Delhi, 
gone to war with Bengo, gone to war with Deccan. Going to war with us was probably the worst decision you could have made. Because we're vicious. Oh, yeah. Get on the damn boat. Oh, right, whoever wants peace already. Yeah. Deccan, do you want an alliance back? No. Oh, they have a lot of alliances right now. Tim Rizby, so we can't even get an alliance with them. Damn it, we just lost that alliance. God damn it. Okay, are we going to send our colonist over here? If we do send it, it will become a full province in half a year. If we wait, it will take... Wow, 85 more people? 60 would be 4... 75 would be 5, so it takes 6 more years. No, I'm not going to wait for it. I need to be able to build walls down there. So we'll rush it. Arakan is trade embargoing us. You guys have a center of trade? Oh, they do. That's actually pretty decent, too. And they're going to let us attack them? Alright. Watch them kick our ass. They shouldn't be able to, because we're all eastern units and shit. We'll see. Bring these guys over as backup. Negative four, but come on, it's eastern units versus them. Oh my god, that hurts. Now ah, we won. They're running to a rock and we'll follow. Oh wow, they're gonna get there way before we do. They must have maneuver five or something. Holy shit balls. Uh, what do we want to build? You're working on stability buildings. You guys are also working on stability buildings. Um, where's stability cost the most? Stability cost. Whoa! Oh, it's because we have a missionary there. What about these? Why are these stability costs so high? 86? Really? Shenism, land province, city population. Oh, it's the population. It's a million people. All right, so we need to lower the stability cost in these places for sure. It's a good map mode to have, I guess. Oh, October's here. Resisting influences. 25th or something. All right. So hope if we catch them this month, and it looks like we will, then we might be able to slaughter them. If their morale is really zero, then we should kill them. That'd be nice. Alright, oh, their navy's out and about. They're going to the Ceylon Sea for some reason. Okay. Oh, because Castile's over there. What's Castile doing over here? I don't know. Let's bring our navy down. See if we can't dick around with these motherfuckers. Oh, we landed in a room key. Okay. Siege it. We're about to land over here. Nope, still three weeks away. Goodness. Wow, a room key fell so fast. 24%. Do you want peace yet? I want you to get rid of all your cores. And I want you to give me all your dollars. Well, he won't do it. Alright, I guess we have to keep attacking. God. Crimea and Kazakh. Oh, it's that war for Crimea. Yeah, Castile declared tribal conquest war on Crimea. That's what it is. Whatever. I don't know how we ever got the Dishonorable Scum flag. No, they still have some morale. And now we have a negative six attacking penalty. God damn it. Whatever, we have more troops coming. Fight valiantly. Okay, resisting Western influences is gone. Let's westernize our trade tech. Excellent. Lose three stability. But now we have Western trade tech. Very nice. And let's invest in stability as much as possible. And we won in Arakan. They're running down to Chittagong. Okay. We should get there first. Oh yeah, we're going to get there first. We're going to get there a whole month ahead of time. Damn.
All right, do you guys want peace? How is this 32%? We own your entire country except for this province, which we can't get to, and this province, which I don't really care. Sukhothai is going there. Whatever, let's just peace them out. I don't need to be in this war. Uh, I don't want your provinces. I just want you to get rid of your cores, and I want some dollars, some compensation for our work. There you go. Okay. Now leave me alone. Going back home to ignore you. You dumb bastard. And this should be easy. He's going to land on our face in a few days. Send our transport navy back home to dock up. Where's our regular navy? Here they are. Alright. Yeah, they have no morale. So this should be easy. Yep, they're dead. Alright, Arakan's army is dead. Brilliant. I guess we'll just siege them. We, the problem here is I would love to vassalize them. I would love to force convert them and vassalize them, but we can't convert them because they're the wrong religion. So at this point, I think we'll just uh, ignore them. I don't know. White peace? They won't even take white peace. So whatever. We'll just siege their shit. Nobles resist westernization. I really don't care. We can't westernize until our king dies anyway. The only one we can westernize is our trade tech, and we've already done it. So we can replace this guy now if we want. Well, we don't have to, though. There's no one good to take anyway. So, uh, yeah. We need a better leader to do all of these. So the king must die. So we're just going to let them resist westernization. It doesn't matter. They have level 4 forts, both provinces. We can't build it in Tongu either. God damn it. Road network. Ooh, nice. What does that do for us? Building a road network increases the trade income in a province as well as the movement speed for armies. Must have a canal, local trade plus 15%, and local movement speed. Okay. That's pretty good. But in the meantime, I think uh, 1652 is a great place to end this video. So I hope you enjoyed this episode today. Another war with Japan. Another high five victory. Uh, we have some war exhaustion though, but it'll go down eventually. That's what she said. So in the meantime, you guys have a good day. Uh, as always, you can subscribe to me if you want to see more of my bullshit, because I do have a lot of bullshit to share with you guys. Still no alliance with you, huh? Oh well. And you can also follow me on Twitter, because that's probably the easiest place to get any updates as far as what's coming up, what videos you can expect in the next few days or whatever. And that is at Shen Place. So anyway, this is Shen from Shen Place signing off. You guys have a good day.